Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Mira Safety CM6 gas mask. This thing is awesome, great company, great construction. Let's get into it. So to start off, Mira Safety did send this to me. I am an affiliate of Mira Safety and I do get a percentage of any sales that you uh, may purchase. However, as you guys well know, that does not affect my reviews. Now, I have had this thing for a few months now, trained with it, uh, wore it uh, quite a bit, wore it with my helmet because it is helmet compatible. And uh, <clears throat> some of you guys on my Instagram have seen me with this, still shots of me using it and shooting it with and st stuff like that. So I have used it quite a bit. Now they do sell a CM7 as well, which has the two eye ports and a little bit of a cutout here for you to better shoulder your rifle. But I went with the full face CM6 uh, where you can still shoot with it. It is a little bit harder, but I get a better field of view with it than the two eye ports. Now, a couple of construction things with it. It does have a nice breathable mesh back here for the back of your head five point harness design all adjustable and very adjustable i have a quite a large head i wear like a seven and three quarter or so hat and i don't quite have it out all the way and it does adjust down just by pulling these straps and uh, uh, adjusting it in these are of course elastic you can put two 40 millimeter cans on it uh, and the, of course those, those filters are you can get them in various different protection levels and uh, this particular mask the the cm6 the, the mirror cm6 and 7 uh, have been tested to mu uh, for mustard gas penetration up to 30 hours so these things are really high quality construction and do qu quite a good job now the 40 millimeter uh Cans are available through Mira Safety, although you can get them just about anywhere that you can get gas mask stuff. They're a super common uh, NATO product. Now on the inside, I'll get a close up for you. On the inside, there is a drinking tube installed. So that tube is hooked to this drinking straw, this flexible drinking tube here that you can hook to the canteen that comes with it or to a camelback. And of course that gives you the sealed safe drinking water uh, for any lengthy amount of times you might have in this mask. So one of the things about this mask is you're able to intelligibly pick up 95%, 95% of what's being said. Uh, as you can see, it fits the face very well. And even though I have a beard, if I block off the uh, uh, filter port, you can see that it sucks to my face very well when I breathe in. So there's a pretty good seal there, even though I have a beard. Now the rubber portion of the mask is something called bromobutyl, and uh, it meets all the CBRN standards uh, and is good to all of the chemical, biological, and nuclear, including radiation dust. Um, it, it's impervious to the penetration of all of those. And of course your filter, you would need the filter that goes along with the chemical nuclear biological the cbrn and uh, radiation now it is a fog proof design or fog resistant design i have not had it fog up on me i have scratched up the lens a little bit that's where i shoulder my rifle like i said on the cm7 this is sort of cut out a little bit so you can shoulder your rifle a little easier but all i do with this is bring the rifle a little bit higher on my shoulder and cant it cant a little bit and i can see down my sight just fine i still have controllability of my rifle. Now, why on earth would you ever want a gas mask? Um, my answer to that is why on earth would you ever not want a gas mask? Um, this isn't just for tactical applications. Uh, this is for emergency response applications. Uh, this can be for many things. If you even, even if you have a fire in your house and you are needing to, for whatever reason, be in there, whether you're saving your kids or whatever, everything from emergency response in your home or in your neighborhood, all the way to tactical applications, including duty use. These are used all over the world uh, by police and military. And again, they it meets all the different specifications uh, for CBRN. But as far as tactical applications, because that's really what this channel revolves around, is 
you have armor, you have guns, you have ammo, you have all of these things, you have comms, you have chest rigs, you have the prepping supplies like uh, food and water and whatnot, uh, why not have a gas mask? Chances are, if there's ever anything that pops off, gas will be used. These, you can get canisters for, again, all of the chemical, biological, nuclear radiation, but you can also get different canisters for tear gas and things of that nature. Now, I have a couple other masks at home that were considerably less expensive Israeli gas masks, and they are not near this quality. The rubber is not near the same quality. The seal is not near the same quality. The headgear is not near the same quality. None of it is near the same quality. Um, so for the price, I think you're getting a lot of mask here, especially considering what you could survive or possibly survive using something like this. Now, as of right now, being May 2022, these are just north of $200. I think they're 240 on their website not a bad price considering what you're getting and considering again what uh what life-saving components or what life-threatening components this could possibly save you from now it does have a five-year manufacturer's warranty and a 20-year shelf life and that shelf life of course being the quality of the materials over a time of degradation if you want to change canister size there's a plug on this side and all you do is unthread the can and flip sides. I, of course, have it on this side because of shooting with it. Now for helmet compatibility, uh, the visor is low enough and the seal is high enough that it does not interfere with the brim of your helmet. Uh, your helmet should go on just fine. It doesn't interfere with your ears at all. And uh, actually it makes for a nice compact package. Uh, there's not, it's not pushing your helmet up. It's not pushing the mask down, things like that. It fits, seems to fit very well. Of course, your head size, your helmet size, how you wear your helmet up or down on your head may affect that. Now I'm going to put a link to Mira Safety down in the pinned comment for this particular mask. Although from that link, you can browse the rest of the website for all the other emergency supplies they have. I want to thank Mirror Safety for sending this out. It's been a fantastic tool. Uh, I think that gas masks are in, an integral part of your preps. I think they are an integral part of emergency response and your tactical gear collection, your tactical gear uh, stockpile. So check out Mirror Safety. This is this, this, the CM6. Uh, there is a CM7 and other emergency supplies from Mirror Safety. Thanks for watching. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Don't, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you have a gas mask, if you're in the, uh, uh, if you're in the market for a mask like this, I can answer any questions that you may have as far as my experience with this particular mask. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you later.